Can you just break it down for us? How do we actually define artificial intelligence? <clears throat> Thanks, Holly. Yes. In terms of uh, artificial intelligence, it's in essence a computer system or the ability for a computer system to solve problems and perform tasks that have traditionally been required, uh, requires human intelligence to solve. So here at Six Clicks, we use uh, a form of artificial intelligence called natural language processing. And that's essentially the ability of a machine to process, analyze, and mimic the human language um, in writing of documents. That's how we would. Yeah, so can you just elaborate on that a little bit for us, exactly how AI is being used, I guess, to enhance or transform um, the cybersecurity uh, area? You know, how is it being used in a most positive way? Yeah, I'll try, I'll try a little bit with the, um, the uh, more of an analogy or, or th how we think of as human beings. We have experiences, we have different mental models that we have built um, and so every time there's an input or a trigger or something that occurs, we try and process that and then um, push, push some sort of output out uh, as human beings. And same with the computer, that we get a lot of inputs and then we process it as fast as possible. So we keep building those mental models and analyze and then give, give an output. Um, so one fascinating aspect of this is um and i'll use a different different industry in terms of healthcare uh we can look at a bunch of different inputs on antibiotic resistance you know we're in the the covid era we're in the um you know more viruses more more deadly diseases are out there so how do we fast how are we able to process it as fast as possible understanding on on how these uh these diseases are are occurring and how we need to to combat it yeah absolutely ai is going to be so exciting to watch it develop as well um but it doesn't just happen by itself does it they need like businesses if you're going to be implementing ai it's not as easy as just deciding that you want to you want to implement it um how do businesses actually go about implementing it um into their organization yeah and um this is a you know actually when we talked about and i think the biden administration um some of their senior advisors advisors have really dug deep into the cybersecurity and um the ability to protect really your company from cyber related attacks is largely a, the function of employee management issues so how do employees and and management function within the business. And so until you can get to that point where both um, we look at human error and the lack of training, we need to really develop our employees to, to think beyond the current state of their business. And, if, and that's gonna be the biggest challenge right now in terms of AI strategy is you can't just throw a bunch of tools or throw a bunch of information at, at someone and and go from it so it's gonna it's gonna be a buy-in from everybody to think about the sustainability of the business and do we have the right folks in the room to really operate um in, in this environment yeah, so what would you say are some of the skills, I guess, then of, a, of an employee that need to be able to operate AI and to know how it works? What sort of skills would they be looking for as an employer? Yeah, so AI, we, we, we like to talk about the tech a lot, but it's really an ecosystem. So how do we think about policy? How do we think about training? So um, I would start by the, the people aspect first. What is the human element? element? And what is the communication skills of, of those folks? If they can understand and learn and they have the ability to learn, uh, learning the math and learning the code uh, is going to take a little bit of time, but that's not the, the hard part. The, the hard part is having the will to do that. And so if you can get the, the workforce to actually um, get together and, and learn together and build projects together, that's where I would start. The second would be 
developing the, the policies and procedures um, around artificial intelligence. And that, that'll get, that'll help jump drive into the world of artificial intelligence in your business. Okay, yeah. Um, so what role can regulation play then, I guess, in the race for improving business when it comes to AI and also cybersecurity for that matter? Yeah, so this is um, near and dear to my heart because um, in the process of matching law and methods, um, we we normally fall behind unless we, especially with this such of an extensive change. Uh, so there was actually a Nobel Prize winner in 2018, and he really talked about the economic growth growth is uh, driven by the coevolution of two sets of ideas in terms of technology and rules. And the only way to really move that forward is for regulations, for government to help drive that rate of growth. And through that, you kind of, you're going to need to not only analyze the old set of rules, but also encourage new regulations to help boost that innovation. And so for us, we've really thought about a, a lot of natural language processing. How do, how do the laws match to different policies? How do laws match with other laws? And um, it, you can't do it all on your own. You have to have a, a, the ability to process that using uh, artificial intelligence. So it's, it's a mixture of both, right? We're, where it's almost like a chicken and the egg response that I just gave, where you need to be able to analyze it, but you also need to develop it in a new way. And so in terms of regulations, I'm a big proponent of, of, of regulations in a responsible way to help drive that economic growth. And that's just based on simple data that mm -hmm. um, the economists um, have laid out nicely for us. Yeah, absolutely agree with you. Um, what about then the ethics behind um, AI development and then implementing it into businesses? What should people be putting in place? Yeah, and this goes back to the, the people process, right? Yes. In terms of uh, people are always involved in it. It's not just a simple um, machine does something. This is a computer that has code that humans develop. And so there's really three, three components that, we, that I think about um, in terms of accountability. So who's going to be accountable uh, for this as they're writing the code? Is it the individual at the top or is it the whole ecosystem that's, that's developing our artificial intelligence? So we really need to think about accountability. Transparency is another one. Um, if, we're, if we're really, we need to almost have transparency goals when we're developing artificial intelligence on being able to depend on uh, the folks in there and then being transparent on what that code looks like. Um, obviously, in terms of cybersecurity, can't express this enough is that there's a lot of policies you don't want out there. Uh, so as long as you don't have some information that, that relies vulnerability to you, then um, you, know, you wanna be as honest and, and truthful as possible. Yeah. The last one is harmful bias, right? There's this ability to be harm there, that we all have biases, right? And this goes back to my mental model of human beings. What are all these inputs and what triggers does it uh, accumulate to give an output? And um, so we just need to be aware of the, the systems and experiences that we put in the code to then recognize certain inputs and then what outputs are going to be coming coming out of that system.